You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. Story of Southern Methodist University yeah, and the story no. of Texas football. Yeah, I just, you got to pay the players. If you stop paying, they're going to say shit like, "Why the fuck did you stop paying me?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so fucked up. Nice. All right. Uh, What's going on, everybody? You're listening to another fantastic episode of the Couch Potatoes with, with myself, Cap Nun, and uh, two co-hosts with me this time, uh, Morrison. And we got Paul back on the show. What's going What's on, up? Paul? Uh, not a whole lot. Glad to have you back, man. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me. When we first uh, started uh, talking about having uh, getting Paul on the show, Paul brought up a great idea about uh, baseball movies or just uh, sports movies in general because there's a ton of there's a ton of those for better or worse. Yeah, yeah. That's when the that Field of Dreams game was getting ready to be held, um, mm-hmm. or it just ha- uh, happened. But yeah. I guess they're going to do that again next next year. But yeah, that movie yeah. rules. So yeah, no, I'm ready for. I would love another good sports movie. It's hard to they're short, few and far between now. Now they're just all inspirational, but you don't see a lot of good comedy ones. No, there used to be yeah, a can, shit ton of them in the nineties. Yeah. yeah, I can't think of a good sports movie recently. No, yeah. except the documentaries that we were yeah, you know, the terrible, talking about. Yeah, the or terrible the documentaries 30, or the thirty for thirty stuff. So. Oh, and those yeah. just make you sad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're awful juicy though half God the time. Damn, right. <laughs> It's like especially the NBA ones, just because like there's so much drama around, you know, like the one about the Pistons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Bad Boys. Yeah, that's what it was called too. Yeah, they were awesome. Yeah, they had. Uh, I love that one. There's one ab- about the uh, Shaq and uh, Penny Hardaway era mm-hmm. of the uh, Orlando Magic. That's real yeah, fun to um, watch. The Thirty for Thirty now is just doing two parters. I've seen. Yeah, because like you know, documentaries are just you know prop- people watch more of those than they ever have because you know streaming networks and things like that. And uh, Thirty for Thirty is kind of you know riding that wave too. And they um, put out some like great, great content over the last few decades. The last few single, decades, ten years. The last single sports documentary from Thirty for Thirty was the Al uh, from the uh, Raiders. Oh, uh, Al Davis. Al Davis. Yeah. yeah. Win, baby, win. Okay, that was a, that was a documentary about him. I haven't watched that yet, but uh, there was one really good one that uh, which that was timed on, perfectly because it came out like right after they said uh, Oakland was moving. Yeah, <laughs> the Raiders was moving because that's the one that I watched was about um, uh, that whole uh, Raiders uh, transition from uh, Oakland to L.A. and how mm-hmm. uh, became huge in L.A. because of you know uh, Compton and uh, you know N.W.A. wearing Raiders mm-hmm. gear on yeah. all their album covers and all that too. And that uh, made, the, that made the L.A. Kings change their colors too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and there was a good ton of then uh, they did a Ric Flair one that was really good god that <laughs> that one was like uh, the uh, uh, the giant well, look, every wrestling documentary is sad <laughs> yeah, there's no good like happy ending it's like oh I'm totally yeah. clean I've never did drugs a day in my did life did you ever see the movie The Wrestler yeah oh god <laughs> Jesus dude that is oh, rough I watched yeah. that the other day yeah it's I a watched, great movie I but, watched the thing oof. a lot it was like uh, uh, actors who have died most on camera mm. and he's right up there like Mickey Sean Rourke, Bean yeah, yeah Mickey Rourke <laughs> Sean Bean and uh yeah, um, Sean Bean, yeah. Like Lawrence Olivier and shit like that. <laughs> no, nah, but the wrestlers, uh, there's not a lot of wrestling movies out there, too. You got, uh, there's that, and there might be the little David Arquette one, Ready to Rumble. That's yeah. the only other one I can think of. The Sheik. Oh, yeah, The Sheik Doc was really that was good, sad too. too. There's a Jake the Snake Roberts one that has, uh, you know, a happy ending. Yeah, well, you can just watch uh, Joe Rogan with Jake the Snake Roberts. Oh, and my pretty God. pretty much just tells you the whole fucking movie. Have you seen <laughs> I've I, I seen that interview. But. I talk, they talked with uh, Jake the Snake about, uh, one particular match he had with uh, Macho Man, where like Macho Man was like super paranoid and uh, about Jake's snake gimmick. Oh yes, I have I have heard that story before. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like the uh, for listeners who haven't heard it, he talks about how um, you know Jake's gimmick is uh, having a cobra that's you know devenomized and everything <laughs> mm-hmm. too. But Randy, you don't know that. Yeah, Randy Savage was like awful paranoid and had mm-hmm. him uh, had him test a snake. On uh, his leg, on Jake's leg. Well, if I was, you know, if I was Macho Man doing that much cocaine, I'd be paranoid of everything. <laughs> What's coming out that vent, motherfucker? <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, nothing beats me, you, Raina, and what's his name up there? Um, oh, uh, Dylan. Dylan. Yeah. Watch it. We we pulled up on YouTube. 
Jake the Snake versus Macho Man. Uh, yeah. And we were watching all the Macho Man promotions, especially <laughs> the cream of the crop. Yes, I just watched that one the other day, actually. <laughs> he just keeps like, magically pulling little creamers out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but we were watching it, and it was the fight. You know, he's, he's hung up on the ropes. The snake bites him. People are just crying. Fucking, yeah. There's a kid crying because Macho Man Randy Savage uh, is going to die in front of him. Oh, a cobra bite. This, co- <laughs> this cobra's just like digging into him, like not letting go yeah. at all. Oh, he's got him. He's got Oh, my God. <laughs> and Jake the Snake just talks about being in a hotel room with like a hooker and being like, he's like, yeah, that's, I just left him in the fucking bathtub. <laughs> and the hooker like comes screaming out of the bathroom. Oh, my God. And he's like, well, they had to put him somewhere. <laughs> so he put him in the tub. Dude, see, wrestling. See, that's the biopic I want to see. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh my god! I can imagine like star star Jason Momoa. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's, that's not Jason, bad. I was that shitty, like, shitty mustache and less hair, and him being like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. I like that. There's a lot of good sports movies, but there's not a lot of good sports biopics. No, no, because you got to you got to tear away. Yeah, like, there's only a handful of good sports stories out there. Like the uh, last one I saw in theaters that was based on a true story that was really good was. Um, uh, the Mir- Miracle on Ice, I think that's what it was called. Oh, yeah. Miracle. Uh, it was just a movie. Miracle. It was a movie. Uh, it was 80, a movie, but yeah, Miracle on Ice. 86 yeah. uh, US. Uh, 80, I think. 80? 80? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, with Kurt Russell. Yeah. yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, when yeah. we finally beat the Russians in hockey. Yep. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter because we lost at everything else. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Like, we lost that's in true. basketball. So we forget that shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because we had the dream team in '92. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the only other thing, ones I can think of are like uh, you know, say Will Smith playing Muhammad Ali. That was, that a, good was a good one. Yeah, Jamie Foxx is in that. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. And he plays uh, his Jewish friend. Let's um, see. The yeah. guy that plays Gus is his dad. Oh, okay. Breaking Bad, he's his dad. Um, I'm trying to remember who else is in it. It's all the cast. Yeah. See, yeah, there that was, was a good movie. See, there was. Uh, I'm uh, trying to think of. There was a golf movie I watched that my mom made me watch when I was a little Can't kid, cut. too. Uh, it was uh, Stroke of Genius. It was mm-hmm. uh, starring the guy that played Jesus in the Passion of the Christ movie. <laughs> oh, Jim Bizzle. Yeah, because it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bizzle or whatever it is. There's yeah. a movie. I think it's a Disney movie. It might be. It probably is. It's, they own everything. Um, but Invincible, where the... Yeah, the guy is a walk-on of the fucking... Yeah, for the Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. 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 They met a parody, 30-year-old rookie. Yeah. They, they parodied that on uh, Always oh, Sunny. Sunny. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they did. Always Sunny. Did. Yep. So yeah. we have Donovan McNabb. <laughs> kind of, this guy clearly, this comes uh, guy clears out, uh, comes out. This is clearly not Donovan McNabb. <laughs> just like overweight dude, just like eating Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> it might be him now. I used to, yeah. love, Donovan, I used to love Donovan, Donovan McNabb. Yeah. Him and Michael Vick, man, they were, they were kicking ass at the same time. Well, mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a huge Eagles fan, so yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh man. man. God damn, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, we got a, we got a Super Bowl a couple years ago, so yeah. you know. I, I love that game too. I was rooting for y'all yeah, too. Thanks. Yeah, it was a great game. So you and Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I think uh, as far as football, I think uh, one of my, the ones that I've watched the most because we had to watch it. You know, every time a, a substitute came in or yeah. any time the teacher was, was yeah, like, yeah, that was American <laughs> education a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm tired and hungover. We're watching. Uh, <laughs> We're watching. Remember the, the Titans, Titans for the yeah. God, yeah. fucking time. <laughs> God, that movie is overdone. <laughs> yes, it is. It's I a saw, good one. Though. Saw, it is good until yeah. you read the story afterward, yeah. and it's fucking terrible. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember watching River of the Titans like 17 fucking times yeah. in a year I think oh yeah that's how that's how all of us kids found out about fucking like Marvin Gaye and shit yeah. like that too yeah. everybody had the Denzel soundtrack and, and just like stacked the cast on that one mm-hmm. and every, all the, all the, everybody else in that movie is probably in the X-Men movies right <laughs> yeah we were talking about that earlier about how uh, Denzel Washington kind of like carries all his own movies like by himself half the time yeah like we were talking I mean, about like actors we've never seen a bad movie in like he has to have a stinker somewhere, but I mean, oh, yeah, I can't probably. think of. Yeah, I, can't, I mean, even even uh, I think the movie's called Ricochet. Him and um, John Lithgow and uh, Ice T. See, I can't I believe you because you said John Lithgow and Ice T, <laughs> and those guys are like great actors. Yeah, but like, especially Ice T when he's finding something new out. Yeah, you mean people can be addicted to sex? <laughs> yes, yes, Ice T. Yes, <laughs> but that's a good one, and he's great in that one. But jo- John Lithgow is like. Great yeah. as well. Of that, was awesome. a, that was a science. Yeah. It was kind of like a, a a weird like fantasy sci-fi movie Denzel was in, where like it was the devil kept passing bodies. John Goodman was in it. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's not a great movie, but it's a weird. I know exactly what you're talking about. Crazy ass yeah. movie because he's a cop. Yeah. yeah. What kind of foot? I'm trying to think of like other football uh, movies. Uh, no, there was a ton like uh, Necessary I mean, Roughness. Yeah, Necessary uh, Roughness. Oh my so God. Necessary Roughness with Scott Bakula <laughs> yeah. and uh, Sinbad. And yeah. Kathy, Kathy Arlen was the kicker. Yeah. So uh, there was that one. There was uh, the one about um, the guy that played for the Browns after uh, John uh, Jim Brown. Uh, he had uh, sickle cell anemia. I don't remember uh, the story. He came, uh, he no, came no, from. 
He's like one of the few black Heisman winners. Let's see, wide receiver post uh, or running back post uh, Jim Brown. Yeah, I think type in that just uh, movie uh, about the Browns, like Cleveland <laughs> Browns movie. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, he played in the Brown, he played for the Browns, and Jim Brown didn't really like him at first, but. Is he I've in never it? seen it. I know he did movies and shit like that yeah, too. But I don't know if he's he's in it. There's a guy that plays him. <laughs> But no, there was like Friday Night Lights and mm-hmm. God, Varsity yeah, Blues. Varsity Blues. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. The, I think the most hilarious, probably unintentionally hilarious, is uh, Any Given Sunday. Oh, with, God. Uh, that has uh, Jamie Foxx in it as well. It has. Uh, yeah, he played, played with the Sharks. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was the yeah, name yeah, of the team because yeah. I was like, that's a cool fucking name. Fuck yeah. the Dolphins. <laughs> that's a fucking name, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the Miami Great Whites. <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> I never saw that one either. Um, oh, dude, that's a good one. If you like Al Pacino, it's it's his movie. It's one yeah. of his movies. Just, yeah, and he's like full on nineties. You yes. know, like ah, <laughs> yeah. He did as like a football same, coach too. He did, yes. that, he did that around the same time. He did that movie with Matthew McConaughey where they're betting on sports. Oh my gosh! Show, uh, show uh, me the money. No, no. I say show me the money was uh, that's the, later on. That, that was, was Jerry Maguire. Yeah, that was Jerry Maguire. But was yeah. uh, that's a sports movie? Yeah, totally. Was, was the Cleveland Browns movie you're thinking of the Express? Yes. Okay, it's a true story. Uh, he uh, he died of, I believe, uh, sickle cell anemia, and okay. it, was really, it was like a really fucked up thing because mm. he was like in his prime. Mm. Let's see, Dennis Quaid's in this movie, mm-hmm. and uh, fucking Mr. Krabs is in this movie. Uh, Clancy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great actor. Yeah, I love Clancy Brown. Oh yeah, Chadwick Boseman's in it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Cool. He's in forty two. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good movie. Yeah, I never saw I, that I would, one either. I would have loved a better movie, like a, what about like Hank Aaron? Yeah, I think that would be a better story to tell. Yeah, there's tons of them. There's tons yeah. of good baseball ones. There, did you? There, the baseball ones actually turned out like a lot better than some of the other mm-hmm. sports sports movies because yeah. you don't hear like like if they did what about Daryl Strawberry? Yeah, yeah, that'd be a fucked up movie <laughs> to watch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like any other baseball player, you know, like Maddox mm-hmm. or. Uh, not John Rocker. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. they already kind of did that with fucking Kenny Powers. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the football ones are sad. The wrestling ones are sad. Yeah. See, there's Brian's song. Mm-hmm. I never God, saw dude, that. That's a, oh, that's a football one about football. The, uh, what? It was uh, Brian Piccolo and uh, uh, what was the uh, other guy's name? Let me, let me look it up real quick. It's about the Steelers, ain't it? I think so. Yeah, Brian's, Brian's song. song. Huh. James Con. James Con. And uh, Billy D. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, that's a, that's a sad movie. Yeah. What was the... I'm uh, trying to think of the other characters' names. Brian Piccolo and uh, Gail Sayers. That's Gale, who Billy yeah, D. It's the story of Gail Sayers. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Dick Buttkiss is in it, too. Yeah. But, but before, right before he became an asshole. Why is it, why is it sad? Because <laughs> the guy dies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like Same the, reason every other sports movie. Yeah. <laughs> he dies. Yeah. And the whole point of it, too, was that uh, Billy D's character was like the first black player on the team, and uh, mm-hmm. they didn't like him at first, but then mm-hmm. Brian Piccolo and uh, Gail Sayers be, started off as rivals, and they became mm-hmm. friends. It's kind of like the, the Remember the Titans story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, the true story about Remember the Titans, though, like, most of that movie's true, except the, the two years after where Denzel's character gets fired. Mm. For running a team ragged. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, it's like for all about, about a, abusing players. Yeah, I mean, he kind of did in that movie, didn't he? Yeah, well, it's like uh, John Voight in fucking Varsity Blues, man. Yeah. He just disappears at the end, don't he? Yeah, yeah. There's a and they tear his fucking statue down like Saddam Hussein's. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching a, a biopic on a, a specific era of Bear Bryant's career. Oh, huh, it man. was like a made-for-TV ESPN films okay. kind of deal, and I remember and it was kind of like you know, like the Remember the Titans, where like it's Bear. Bryant running his team into the fucking ground mm-hmm. in like the middle of nowhere in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. I see. I think it was. Uh, it wasn't Tuscaloosa. It was coached for somebody different. It was somewhere in Texas. Let me look it up real quick. Was it basketball? Uh, no, it was football. This was, was uh, Bear Bryant. Okay. Uh, Junction Boys is what the name yeah. of it was called. I think I know what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. Cool. And I don't think it was Alabama. I think it was post Alabama. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, but you talk about Varsity Blues. There's a book. It's roughly based off of written by John Grisham. Okay. It's a very easy read. It's called Bleachers. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it's about uh, it's about a group of guys who played football in a championship year coming back to the town, and the coach died. Okay. Their coach so died. So many years later. But he was still coaching, <clears throat> and there had been an incident after they had graduated where he ran a, a student to death. Okay. Yeah. What's that ticking? Uh-huh. It's coming off your mic. There it is. There I was the phone, probably. Oh, really? <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, Texas... Oh, my bad. Go ahead. I was going to say Texas A&M was the uh, uh, school at the time with Bear Bryant. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
I think it's mine. Oh. It's mine. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Fair enough. There was that one that was about basketball. It was about, because um, he ended up playing Kentucky. Uh, John so Voight's the coach. So this was college. All right. Uh, John Voight basketball. Let me Google that. Um, I remember the Nick Nolte one. <coughs> Blue, Blue Chips. chips. Yeah. yeah. With this, you talked about Shaq and Penny Hardaway earlier. They're both in that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Penny uh, Hardaway went on to be uh, Memphis's uh, basketball coach. Yeah, he did. That's right. And uh, yeah. Steve Kerr, another championship player, went on to be uh, the coach for what, um, L.A. Yeah. Golden State. Golden it? State. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Let's see, Glory Road, that's what you're thinking of, right? Yeah, Glory Road. So it's pretty wild because yeah. uh, they get this guy because it also features the Pat Riley yeah, because he played for because he played for Kentucky. Okay, and the whole story of uh, what is it called again? Uh, Glory Road. Glory Road was it was the first team to start five black players. Okay, and they end up going they end up going far. They end up playing Kentucky, mm. and I don't know if you know the uh, the coach for Kentucky at that time was, but he was a super racist motherfucker. Sure. And yeah. John Voight plays him. Oh, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> but, but the lead, yeah. they, uh, we can see it. Well, the captain, of the, like, little too well, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he's the captain of the team, but Pat Riley uh, was a like a starting player for okay. that team. Hmm. And you see, like a young Pat Riley, it's pretty wild to yeah. see. What was y'all's favorite uh, sport to watch growing up or currently? Probably still fo- football for me, but baseball was big when I was when I was younger though too. So yeah, same yeah. here. It's yeah. like we uh we were probably encouraged more to play baseball than uh, than anything else. I, yeah, I, I guess baseball. there's yeah. I guess there's like less of a chance of you know kids getting hurt in uh baseball yeah, especially sure. football and stuff yeah. like that too. No, mm-hmm. oh, but yeah, especially now because I was just watching a thing on the news that said uh, uh one uh, high school coach uh, they found like uh, CTE and like some of his fucking players already huh. like just they just took fucking hits. And they're like juniors in high school. Yeah. It's like, God damn. Yeah, I remember football practice. They didn't fuck around if they were like a big, you know, competitive football. I wasn't allowed to play know. football. I only had the one kidney, so. I <laughs> uh, gotcha. Yeah. So I decided to stop playing baseball because I was right-handed, so you yeah. only had the one uh, kidney yeah, here. Yeah. So if I got, like, nicked. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That's it. I played so. uh, baseball through sixth grade and yeah. then uh, played football through ninth grade. Yeah. I was, uh, I don't know, I like baseball. But I grew up watching college basketball. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I love, and that's that's an intense sport to watch oh, yeah. when so, you're a kid and your dad's like a huge Carolina fan. Uh, I was gonna say, <laughs> especially around here, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you got three, five schools mm-hmm. like within a good driving distance that are like you championship know, fucking teams. Exactly. NC State, yeah. Duke, yeah. Carolina mm-hmm. are just a few yeah. miles away from each other. Yeah. Uh, Wake Forest. Yep. Uh, then you got. You know, Tennessee's not bad. Virginia's not bad. Tennessee, Any of the Virginia's southern, been great the last few years. Uh, so. Maryland, right right up the road. You know, like, it's not – they're not bad teams in the ACC. Sure. But now the ACC is packed with – It's the super sh- conference yeah, in basketball. I don't know why they packed so many fucking people into this conference. Mm. It's the same thing with, like, the SEC and college football. They're just going where the money that's is. That's fucking NBA – that's NFL Junior right there. Yeah. That's NFL that, training camp right there. That's just, just Alabama and fucking LSU by themselves. Mm. Right, yeah, then you uh, – and every now and then Auburn. Yeah. Clemson. Well, Clemson. Well, another ACC. But, yeah, but well, Clemson still, turns still, out fucking, yeah. you know, draft – Prospects every year. I think if your state sees the ocean, you're good at fucking college football or basketball. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know Texas is usually a uh, well. They're pretty. Yeah, there's, some, the uh, there's parts of it, yeah. But yeah, Texas is pretty. Uh, you know, uh, football good, like, town, football. Yeah. Uh, you know, farm. You know, state to yeah. go to and all that too. That's where they recruit a lot of college players from. Yeah. It's like I think Texas and Florida. Florida, are, yeah, are like the most recruited states for college. Mm-hmm. Yeah, got, like, like Western a, Pennsylvania was like a quarterback factory for a while. Like, it was like damn well, the, Midwest, there the Midwest, like, like from like half of Pennsylvania, half of the western part of Pennsylvania, west, yeah. is like quarterback row. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, it's Peyton Manning. Um, I'm trying to think where he went to school. Didn't he go to school? He went to Tennessee. Ten- yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Was, like, he's uh, he's yeah. God in Knoxville. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that uh, quarterback they hired, they got for the uh, Detroit Lions to destroy their little curse. Oh, uh, you know, not Ma- Matthew Stafford. Matthew Ma- Stafford was the, the curse breaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. came from uh, Georgia. Yeah, yeah, but uh, he where he lived was the same neighborhood uh, the curse started from. Oh, the no quarterback because the Detroit Lions had this really good quarterback, uh-huh. and they fired him. And traded him to somewhere else, and he said, "You'll never fucking win without me." And guess what? They've never went back <laughs> since then. And uh, it's a crazy. To I'm trying to remember have. his name. Yeah, but it's a curse for Detroit, kind of like uh, the Cubs curse with the yeah, game. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like I think the Lions is like the 
But Matt Last. Stafford grew up on that same road, on that same near that same house and the same college and all that shit. Now he's in L.A. Yeah, so. yeah, that's Good the <laughs> that's the last great underdog story in the NFL, really. Uh, as far as like on a historical you know level, is probably the Detroit Lions. The yeah, Eagles won their Super Bowl. That's right. And <laughs> yep. uh, the uh, Lions, Browns, Titans, and yeah, Tennessee. <laughs> So t- Titans, Titans and Tennessee, yeah. and they're still the Texans. Te- technically Texans, Texans. Yeah. but nobody's rooting for the Texans or the Titans <laughs> because, because the Texans <laughs> used to be well, the Tennessee Titans were the Oilers, exactly. Yes. Yeah, but yeah. like the Texans are technically what's the Oiler would have been, oh, yeah, because yeah. you know, they're the same place. Yep. No, I, I used to be a big Oilers fan growing. Oh, really? They had great I, uniforms. Yeah, I love that shit. <laughs> Warren Moon. I remember yeah. when I remember when the Titans uh, first came, where they they first became a thing. We yeah. had Steve Doing McNair and all that. Yeah. Dude, what a tragic uh, end to his life. Jesus. So, that yeah. was crazy a few years back. I remember when back. that happened, yeah. too. Weird. Now, in Tennessee, where I grew up, it was a big football, you know, big SEC town and everything. Yeah. Everybody's a Tennessee Volunteers fan, and then there were the haters that rooted f- for Alabama or Ole Miss just to piss off the Tennessee fans back home. <laughs> yeah. It was all Eagles growing up for me. So, like, yeah, it was all pro football. But See, I just, uh, we grew up, like, in the Braves because it was the only southern team we'd like. Sure. And, and it's, like, right down the road. Yeah. And it's only a few hours drive. Yep. Um, then, like, the Nationals became a team. And mm-hmm. their their rough start is hilarious. Like, if you uh, – I don't know if you know this, but the, their uniform fuck up when they first started. Uh, they forgot to put the O. In nationals, so the, maybe I did see some. So like, like their this. jersey yeah. said nationals, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nationals, and it's like, oh shit, I remember that. Here comes, yeah, here yeah. comes the, you know, the Washington Nationals, and it's just like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember uh, being on going on a uh, DC trip and going on the train mm. and from Falls Church into DC on July Fourth weekend, and the Nationals were playing the Cubs. And I'm just like, oh my god, all of you are fucking terrible. <laughs> Cubs fans, Nationals fans, all of you are fucking assholes. That's funny. Because they just kept talking shit to each other yeah. on this train, and I'm just like, sports fans, like sports fans are just the worst in general. But <laughs> the talking, only- talking shit is the fun part of yeah. being a sports fan, though. <laughs> the first, all right. So I'll give you a little, a little insight into me. Every game I go to, the home team loses. Every game. <laughs> Every game. Wow. Every game. I don't care if they're a championship. I don't care if it's fucking. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Pat's uh, Tom oh. fucking Brady. Yeah. yeah, and they got a thirty fucking lead. If I walk into that, if I step foot in that stadium, they're losing. <laughs> they are fucking losing. No shit. I went to a Hornets game that happened. Yeah, I went to a fucking the only Panthers game I ever went to. They were playing the Rams and they lost by like thirty. And the Rams went to the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Raptors beat the Hornets. Oh and my god! This is god. back in the nineties when the Raptors were terrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, bad. Like first round draft, like nice. bad. Um, my home, my home, high school football team never won a game. Yeah, never. <laughs> Every time I went, That's and I wasn't funny. even watching the game. I was just hanging out with friends. Yeah, sure. I used to work uh, football games, and uh, there a lot of them were Tennessee games. And every Tennessee game I'd work, they'd lose. Oh wow! <laughs> I'd be like, God damn it! I'll take the cash, but God damn it! That's funny. <laughs> but, uh, but I remember, uh, I remember I was talking to my dad, and I was like. And I had said something to him, and it still kind of holds true today. If you watch Carolina play, the first one to 72 points wins the game. Hmm. Like clockwork. Yeah. And when I make bets, I just say, first one to 72 is going to win the game. <laughs> and, like, it's never failed me. Hmm. And my dad's like, why do you know that? I'm like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure someone told me that. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know where I heard it. But yeah. I'm just, 72 is a lot to score in a fucking football game. No, though. college it's, game. College oh, basketball. Oh, college, college basketball. basketball. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, I, yeah, I figured that's what you were yeah, referring yeah. to. Yeah. No, yeah. Carolina <laughs> sucks at football. <laughs> They've never been good. <laughs> no, we had the Atlanta Braves. That was like unanimously, well, mostly unanimously, other than the handful of Cardinals fans that uh, lived in uh, Brownsville, Tennessee, that huh. uh, that uh, the baseball fandom took over. And that was the era of, like, you know, Turner, uh, you know, making that station specifically the Atlanta Braves mm-hmm. channel, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can watch, no matter where you lived, on TNT or TBS, you could watch the fucking Braves play. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And this was the... the, the during their heyday too in the mid to late 90s yeah yeah they had uh, Maddox mm-hmm. Glavin Glavin um, I mean later there? on they had Smoltz yes but that was a, he was a relief pitcher he was good yeah he was amazing there was uh, a what shit. was that that was an older guy he was like the oldest guy in the league at one time not uh, sure fuck he's he, huh no no no, no. I played for the Braves um, black Hispanic guy um Julio, um, was it, uh, God, oh, hang on, hang he on. He swung the heaviest bat at the time. Okay. And he's still the oldest player. And yeah. He's just like, gone. 
And like they'd always have him like in the batting like in the batting order. He always be in a weird spot. Okay. They could be down and they put him right up there and he'd knock it out of the park and the three behind him would just suck. <laughs> <laughs> was it uh Julio uh Terra? T A T E E H E R A N? No. Okay. Uh, this one a pitcher. Uh but um, okay. I'll remember when I get yeah. home. I'll ask my yeah, dad. Yeah. And my, I'll ask my dad. He'll get pissed and like he'll think of it in the middle of work or something. <laughs> yeah. But no, this was like the era of like uh, all the fucking baseball movies too in that time period. Yes. We talked about like Field of Dreams and uh, Angels major, and major Angel. League, Major League, Major League, so, League, yeah. League of Their Own, League of yeah. Their Own, yeah. fucking uh, Sandlot. Um, what was? Yeah. <laughs> Don't shrug off the Sandlot. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to play. Ball with a fat kid and Charles Manson. Okay. <laughs> who's a, who's a better uh, on-screen uh, baseball uh, personality, fictional character, Bull Durham or Kenny Powers? Kenny fucking Powers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go Kenny Powers. Yeah, yeah even though it's like, like Bull Durham, like for a movie, but for a movie though, it's really good. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching that on a. I went to a baseball game with my dad one time to Chicago, but we took a bus. Uh-huh. And on the bus, uh, they were playing baseball movies, and Bull Durham was one of them. Nice. And I'm still a little kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Susan Sarandon, and that's, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> See, it was Bull Durham, then it was, uh, I think it was Field of Dreams. Julio Franco. Julio Franco, okay. Oh, yeah. For the Braves, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, then... Uh, then uh, then he had what? What was the movie? For the love of the game. For the love. Another. another the, for the love of the game. That yeah. was on the bus ride too. Oh really? Yes. So they just showed all the Costner movies. Basically. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tin Cup was next. Nice. God, how many baseball movies did the fucking well, Kevin Costner? Well, sports did? movies. Period. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And then he did Draft Day. I never saw that. That was, was good. Yeah. That's actually a really yeah. good movie. And yeah. That's the Browns, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's a wild story. Like yeah. the way that works, the inner workings yeah. of that. It's sure. Fucking batshit. Yeah. It seems like it would be interesting. Yeah, I'd like to check that out because he wasn't a Browns guy. Like he'd be better. Yeah. When I watch football religiously, I would keep up with like all the behind the scenes shit and mm-hmm. all that too. And like, I actually had a Twitter just so I could like follow uh, all the sports journalists and all yeah. that too. Because nice. sports journal, sports Twitter was the best. <laughs> Man, I used to be I used to be big fans of sports journalists because uh, my dad would watch uh, what was it the uh, the sports reporters on Sunday. Okay, and that was like a really good show to watch. Yeah, and uh, it had like Mike Lupica. Uh, Tony Kornheiser would show up, the yeah. guys PTI and all that. And then it'll be like, and then, uh, what's his name started working? Um, Skip uh, Bayless? The guy with Skip Bayless. Oh, Stephen A. Smith. Fuck Stephen A. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that motherfucker, dude. Uh, he's, Skip. he's the man at ESPN now. So yeah, that sucks, is. too, because yeah. I remember watching the guys talking about how good, like, he turned. I, and I understand uh, it was at quarterback. Uh, the John three sixteen. What was his name? Oh, Tim Tebow. Yeah. Tim Tebow. Yeah, he wasn't the greatest fucking quarterback. Okay, we understand that. He's great college. I mean, one of the yeah. greatest college players of all time. So. Yeah, but, but like when he came to the league, Stephen A. Smith was like, "All right, let's see what he can do." And then sure. he won those like three games in a row, mm. sloppily, but he won them. But he won them. Yeah, but he fucking won them. Yeah, <laughs> and. Uh, Stephen A. Smith does a fucking full 180 thing about how he's the most horrible player yeah. in the game. Yeah. No. Yeah. He is not the most horrible player in the game. I'm a Steelers fan. Uh-huh. Maddox in the 90s was the most terrible <laughs> sports fan. <laughs> the worst quarterback I've ever seen in my goddamn life was the yeah. worst player in the game. No, man. The, these fucking sports uh, commentators are just like the uh, political commentators you see on TV, though. Like, Stephen A. Smith sees a fucking lane. He's just like, yeah. Oh. I don't see him as a sports commentator because he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> no, I, talk, he's, I, good, I, he's a TV personality. Yeah, he's like the sports knowledge doesn't matter. Yeah, it is a no- he knows dick. how the game. Re- well, I grew up reading his stuff. He used to write for the Philadelphia Inquirer, so yeah. he used to do uh, cover the Sixers a bunch and all that stuff. But uh, so he should know what losing looks like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's, this is like no, no, this say, I'm, I'm saying Philly's got good teams in hockey. <laughs> yeah, the, the hockey's been the the one lacking recently. Yeah. But uh, but like back when the Sixers were good in the early two yeah. thousands and stuff like that. So. that uh, Iverson, right? Yeah. 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 So that team was awesome. We ain't we ain't talking about the team. We ain't talking about, about the game. Talking about <laughs> practice. Practice. <laughs> One of the best. Throw another uh, chair, motherfucker. Ever. Throw another <laughs> chair at somebody. Yeah. <laughs> a ball. Go, 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 bowl, go, go bowling with Alan Iverson and tell me how good it is. But no, him and Skip Bayless, they, they find their uh, their angles and like, ooh, what, what, what can I lean in on to sure. gain like the yeah. hardest reaction? And that's yeah. what they're doing. My first thing would be like, hey, remember when you were wrong about the Panthers? <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Maybe you said Tom Brady would just retire after one mm. year. I wasn't and wrong. Bucks- I, I wasn't wrong. I was misquoted. <laughs> misquoted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pull it up. Let's pull up the footage. Yeah. <laughs> Click. Like, 
That I'm wasn't worried. me. <laughs> That's why I worry about like Charles Barkley and Shaq, like mm. on those like announcer things, because like they have no chill. Sometimes. No, but it makes it one of the best like oh, yeah. uh, sports programs on TV. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My brother doesn't even give a shit about basketball, and he yeah. loves Charles Barkley. As he oh, should. Charles Barkley. <laughs> oh come on, Ernie. Yeah. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Going back to the uh, the sports documentaries, you guys saw the Michael Jordan one, right? Oh yeah. Um, did the you guys see the SNL uh, bit that they did on? <laughs> yes. that? Oh yeah, with the with the yes. fucking yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need that money. I need that money. <laughs> oh my God. That dude is easily the coolest dude in that whole documentary too. <laughs> yeah, he this is. three dog night looking yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> Because like he wins in the documentary, and he wins. Yeah. And you look at Michael Jordan like he's so fucking. <laughs> dude, you are leading the series, yeah. and you're at home, and you're worried about this poor janky uh, motherfucker yeah. stadium employee. <laughs> worried about taking dude, his fucking hardcore shoes. Hardcore gambler. Yep. Hardcore gambler. Okay, yeah. He, he just don't. Bit. He just doesn't want to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that quarters, boy. That's so good. See, that's a case study in itself, right there. Like he's like somebody that's that competitive. That's why he gambled all the time because he mm. had that. He loved that mm. rush of winning. Yeah, like I, I can believe it. You know, I'm, if I was winning all the fucking time, yeah, and I had a stacked team like the Chicago Bulls, I'd be yeah. fucking jacked too. God, there has been like a team that's been that that famous outside of maybe the Golden State Warriors yeah. or LeBron by himself. Oh God, I hate Le- I used to love LeBron like when he first started and I'm like, man, he could be something, you know. And he like he was cool about everything. Mm-hmm. Did you remember that? Like he was yeah. really cool about he's, everything. He seems like a really uh, I don't know I, him as a person or whatever, but him as a philanthropist and stuff seems like a genuinely great person in that sense. Yeah, but, like uh, Michael Jordan, yeah. same way cuz mm-hmm. down here all them uh, hospitals he built down mm-hmm. here. <laughs> yeah, it's like LeBron just kind of like fusses and whines, you know, when he, he whines when, he, when yes. he loses. When Michael Jordan, but the Michael flops. Jordan, when he lo- when he loses, he takes that shit personally. personally. <laughs> yeah, and like he doesn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. he just kind of keeps it all in. Like uh, when it, when we were talking about the last dance, and they were talking about when Isaiah Thomas wouldn't shake his hand. When, yeah, and I take offense to that. Yeah. Like you know, we're about this is just a game. We're making them both making a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Okay, the whole winning the championship is just icing on the cake. We're still champions of the game. Mm. All right, but if you don't shake my motherfucking hand, that's not cool. I think Mm. that's Isaiah Thomas, you know, kind of riding that, you know, uh, that idea of the bad boys in his head, too. But that's, that's LeBron now. He won't shake a motherfucker's hand. He'll, he'll dip he'll the last three minutes. Yeah, exactly. If they're losing yeah. by like ten, he'll dip the last know, fucking two minutes. Ugh. He's in his own little fucking bubble, you know, yeah. in his LeBron James and bubble. It's not like he's. It's not like he. Ugh. Yeah, it's not like he has like a consistent group of guys, you know, carry that, you know, it's not the heat identity with <laughs> exactly. You know, he had those two guys in the heat. There's no D Wade anymore. Well, now Westbrook's, well, now Westbrook's in L.A. and I mean, if they, if they don't make it to the finals, then it's going to be a good. good yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think good. he's whinier than fucking LeBron. Is Westbrook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easily, he's funny though. Yeah. At, least. <laughs> At least he's funny. It's always he's funny. Aha, uh-huh, not funny like Draymond Green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Draymond Green funny. Yeah, Draymond Green throws an elbow in your fucking nuts and like God. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> he's that heel player like fucking uh, yeah. Dennis Rodman was. Yes. Oh man, I was watching that thing on Rodman a while back. Yeah, did you watch out, that doc no. series? He came out before the Last Dance, uh-huh. and holy shit, like people were talking about playing this motherfucker, and it's just mm. like. I hate this man. <laughs> like even Shaquille O'Neal was like, I could not score with this motherfucker wow. on my ass. Yeah. yeah, and he towers over him. And then you have like people on the Bulls team, and like you know what that motherfucker would do? He'd play a full court press and then run a mile after the game, and then go to the club and party till the break of dawn, yeah. nap an hour, <laughs> and then be like, y'all guys ready for practice? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He come late, yeah. but he practiced. Yeah. He came late and practice hung over as all hell, yeah. but he was still like. Just all raw talent yeah. too. It's like he was like just naturally the best defender yeah. in the fucking and game. They were, and didn't even have to try. And they yeah. talk about his life growing up. Holy shit! Yeah, mm-hmm. he I took a mental beating growing mm-hmm. up. Yeah, in like Oklahoma and uh, yeah. something like that. He right? almost fucked his sister as a uh, sister because he didn't know it was a sister. Oh, yeah. hey now. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. <laughs> oh. Like, like his, he, he grew up with nothing but women. What was this on? Uh, I was on Thirty for Thirties. Yeah, it was, it was, one, okay. of the, it was one of right. their separate gotcha, gotcha. ones. You know. Yeah, yeah. When the ones they pitched that wasn't a thirty, but technically is, it's yeah, on Hulu. Yeah. All the thirty to thirty yeah, is on yeah. Hulu now. Yep. Uh, but no, nah, I mean it was fucked up watching it because uh, there was this girl he really liked across the street, but it turned out his daddy who left 
had fathered a daughter across uh, the street and it was like really fucked with his mind a little yeah, bit yeah of course and so he became the greatest at basketball <laughs> and it, like at, at uh, 16 he had like a, a best friend that was 8 years old or something like yeah. that too so yeah. he couldn't find friends anywhere else huh. yeah but he like stayed friends with the, like the parent The parent, it seemed weird yeah. from the parent's perspective yeah. which is understandable sure and it was like totally innocent he didn't do yeah, anything yeah, weird with yeah, yeah. No, like but like that, it but. is funny that hey this dude's 8 guys your 8 years your senior and yeah. he's up being a championship basketball <laughs> yeah. player for 2 teams that's yeah. true <laughs> <laughs> Did you? But then there's the uh, the Christian Leitner docs. Uh, it wasn't that a series. That was good. Yeah, that was good. Uh, I hate Spe- Christian Leitner. Speaking yeah. of uh, Carolina basketball, yeah, yeah, that that's actually good really good because yeah. like it changes your view on Christian. Like my dad's a diehard Carolina fan, and even he said oh, really? Christian Leitner. <laughs> Christian Leitner got a raw deal. Yeah, because you know he ended up being the the amateur on the dream team. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, Duke had won, and he stepped on a dude. Which I love. He stepped on a dude from Kentucky, and that unibrow having motherfucker Anthony Davis <laughs> yeah. did, a photo, did a photo op with Christian Leitner because Duke had played Kentucky. Uh, okay, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Christian Leitner was there, and he congratulated Anthony Davis on like winning like some MVP or something. Uh-huh. And he's like, "Can I take a photo with you?" He's like, "Of course." And Christian Leitner gets on the ground, and Anthony <laughs> Davis steps on him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah pretty, see, but he takes yeah. it in stride. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like he's still. Yeah. He's still a good guy. And he grew up poor for a Duke player, which mm-hmm. Duke players don't grow up sure. poor. Sure. No, <laughs> no, no. He was that you know that heel basketball player too. That totally. became like you know uh, the most popular player on the team too, and that's kind of how he wrote his. Kind of like uh, what's his name for Carolina? Uh, Cam Newton? No. <laughs> Although he kind of <laughs> no, 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 became no, Carolina basketball. Um, oh, okay. Uh, what was his name? Hansborough. Hansborough was kind of a heel sometimes because yeah. he would get aggressive, but he was getting pushed <laughs> around too. Yes. Yeah. But he was a big man. He was a big man. Yeah. No. But yeah, Cam Newton, fuck you, and that laptop stealing piece of shit. <laughs> People forget about that. Yeah, he was a thief in Florida. He and, might be but, playing backup in New England here soon. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up, right? Yeah. God, it's crazy. That's a big motherfucker, too. I've been, yeah. I've been around him in person and before. He's one of a few People. big quarterbacks. Mm hmm. I would. Uh, I was talking with uh, one guy that uh, was a, a defensive player for South Carolina, and he'd say, like, Cam Newton would just truck through us like it was yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but going back to the movies, um, do y'all remember like any basketball movies growing up? Like there weren't many. I mean, there was Hoosiers, of course, which yeah, is actually the wrong yeah. side of history, kind of like yeah. it's a really fucked up thing yeah. to watch. <laughs> These God is going to help this all white team yeah. defeat this interracial basketball team. God has to help us. <laughs> Can we throw Teen Wolf in there? Yeah, the Teen Wolf. Camp. <laughs> See, there's space. There's Space Jam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I love, that, the, I love the power that they suck the abilities. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Got Patrick Ewing, Charles Barkley, Muggsy Sean Bose, Bradley, Sean Bradley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You, know, you, know, you know the story about how uh, all the all of them got to be in the movie? No, not like, exactly. I mean, they were Nike, they lost probably. The were they? Or? <laughs> so, like, they were uh, something like that. Uh, they talk about it in the doc series where um, you know uh, Michael Jordan's there, uh, you know, shooting the movie at whatever location they're filming it at, and they build a whole like practice court for yeah. him. And uh, he would just invite Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, whoever. Fucking all stars. Yeah, just for like you know scrimmage games and just fucking around and shit like that. And you know a few of them got to be in the movie, and it was, kind of became one of those so whoever was available. Yeah, because there's, there's like there's a scene deals, where yeah. they're all like really terrible at basketball, and they're all in that gym together, like a sports rehab, mm-hmm. and that's the practice court that they're in. Yeah, and they're all in like uh, fucking hospital gowns. Yeah. <laughs> You're know, just playing like just sad R. Kelly music or something yeah. like that in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and Bill Murray shows up and gets a check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but so does uh, 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 was it was it Newman? Uh, Wayne Knight. Yeah. Wayne Knight. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they point that out. Yeah. They point that out in the fucking movie too. Like Daffy Duck asks Bill Murray, "Is like how'd you get here?" And <laughs> yeah. Bill Murray says, "Oh, I know. Now nah, the producer's a friend of mine, so yeah. I just came down and you know just wanted to come hang out." And he goes like, "Ah, oh, okay." I haven't seen the new one. I haven't seen uh, yeah, I haven't either. Yeah, I have no desire to. I saw like uh, some re- a review on it. And apparently, Don Cheadle is a, is the villain in it and wants to make some kind of uh, wants to cancel the Looney Tunes or some shit. Mm. <laughs> really, Don Cheadle? Yeah, right. Iron, uh, Iron Machine or whatever. Like War Machine. Yeah. War Machine. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw that. I was like, oh, I guess he's getting his paycheck. That's cool. I guess. Yeah. Well, he did play a terrorist in that one movie, so I kind of understand. <laughs> Which one? Uh, a traitor. Never so saw it's a wild ass movie, dude. It teach you how to make explosives, huh. <laughs> out of oh. nine bottles, and a I, stick of dynamite. I recall that, movie, but yeah, I don't, I don't remember seeing it. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember one uh, sports movie growing up. It was, oh man, what was it? It was a baseball movie. Baseball seems to be like the uh, the go to. Like, yeah, like there's been more like a consistent good baseball movies than just about any other sport. I think. Eight Men Out. 
Yeah, eight man out was a great yeah, one. Yeah, I was about watching the 19, that. Nineteen, I think. Uh, White, White Sox, Sox. Yeah. The Black Sox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I never uh, saw that. It's about uh, them John cheating, uh, cheating in the World Series. Charlie Sheen, I think. Yeah, it's, Charlie Sheen, yeah. John Cusack. Yep. Charlie Sheen's in a, in a lot of baseball movies. Major League, Major League, Major League Two. Yeah. I love what's his name. Uh, what, uh, the announcer is in it. Um, yeah, Odekirk or no, Euchre. Um, um, Bob Euchre yeah. is the announcer for the Cleveland uh, Indians. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Just a bit outside. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to just say Harry Carey. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Harry Grace. <laughs> <laughs> They're really coming back. <laughs> I love that skit with Will Ferrell. He's yes, like, of course. And he's yeah. like shaking his hand. Yeah. If I was a hot dog, that'd be delicious. Or whatever. <laughs> and I'd top it off with a tall, cool Budweiser. Speaking of crazy dads, did you watch the one about Jimmy the Greek? No. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, that's got to be nuts. I haven't Jimmy watched the Greek was like yet. the guy to talk to about gambling and sports. Okay. And yeah, then he yeah, said yeah. some weird shit live on television. Mm. You're like, get the fuck off air. That's got to be that's gotta be Brent Musburger in real, real life, too. <laughs> but Jimmy the Greek had made a comment about... I'm trying, it was a running back or some shit, and talking about how black people could run faster than whites because they have extra muscles in their legs. Yeah, yeah I remember hearing I remember about that, all this. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like you dumb motherfucker. So this was a documentary. <laughs> yes, on, it was okay. a thirty for thirty about Jimmy the Greek and talking about how he's never wrong. Yeah, he was talking about, oh man, this guy's gonna get a hundred yards. Watch, yeah. got a more, yeah. got a hundred plus. There's one on uh, Mike and Mike that's pretty fun too. Uh, like uh, the radio uh, yeah, do you remember like the Mike and Mike yeah. shows? Like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. So there's a like, 30 for 30 on it though? Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. And they fucking well, hated each other for oh, a long really? time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's a, um, you know, just if you just talk about 30 for 30s, you know, um, there's the uh, Pony Express, which oh I want God, them yeah. to make a movie about. Mm. Yeah, this is that's probably one of the juicier fucking uh, stories on it, 30 for 30. It destroyed an entire NCAA division. Mm. Yeah. Down to every sport. Yeah. I remember when it was happening like in real time. Yeah, like, uh, so 1984, 83. Oh, wait, no, wait. I'm thinking of, like, a, not SMU. Uh, I was thinking of something else, but, yeah, that was 84. Oh, Ohio State with the rings. <laughs> oh, that, too. There's, that's the thing about college football. It is riddled with, with scandals. Remember the whole Ohio State thing with the tattoos and everything? Like, a, lot, a few mm-hmm. years ago, the guys were getting free tattoos or something. And so it's like, I was all mean, like, that's how they recruit. Yeah. Uh, have to, uh, all the good players, they, yeah. they uh, buy them, like, I, new I, tattoos, I, new I cars, actually, yeah, sure, and stuff course. like that. That's what I said blue chips. Is that the whole movie yeah. is all about that so yep. i would i predict that another college team will go that route but they will tattoo qr codes on a motherfucker <laughs> so they can use cryptocurrency yeah. by horse yeah, right <laughs> yeah or whatever the fuck they well, want actually we, we haven't mentioned the best probably college football movie is uh have you ever seen the program no yeah. so that had like so that there was a bunch of controversy around that because there was literally a scene in the movie and i remember seeing it in the theater and, I, and the scene was in it i think they ended up taking it out but where the uh the guys go and like lay down like a highway, like or not a highway, but a road in the middle of the road, and cars whizzing by and stuff, and people were like imitating this and dying, and uh, but it was all about like guy getting juiced on steroids and shit like that, and um, yeah, it was just crazy, all about like the 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 uh, scandals within college football. Uh, I think it was yeah. supposed to be like a Florida State like kind of school too. I think yeah. they had the same kind of colors and stuff, it's like a big so, program. Yeah, like this is the U. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good give or take the U. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what was a good series too yeah. when they did the whole uh, hurricanes, the hurricanes, yeah. and uh, what was, it was that one was just called the U, right? Mm-hmm. But SMU uh, was called Southern Methodist University. They were the Mustangs, and in the mid to late eighties, they were the team in Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had gone all the way, but um, because of a scandal. They had fought. They had played. Uh, fault. They had played Penn State for a championship in like a cot and like a, one of the bowl games. Yeah. It wasn't the bowl game, mm-hmm. but it was a bowl game, and they had won. And then they took their win away because they had found out I'm that they were paying a little closer. Like they they were talking about how they were paying some players. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Everyone pays their players if you want to win. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Pats don't got get here by charity. Okay? No. <laughs> uh, but. It breaks the whole division because it was all nothing but Texas teams. This was Texas A and M, Baylor, Texas Tech, Texas SMU. Yeah. The mm-hmm. only outside team was Arkansas. Wow, that was the only outside team, and they were the Southwest Conference. That conference doesn't exist anymore because of SMU, mm. and it's such a ballsy fucking story. Skip Bayless wrote one of the stories about the scandals, and yep. that's how he got famous in sports. Okay. And he talks about it in the documentary. But oh, that ginger haired fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but like he says, like he says it. He's like, 
you have a payroll, motherfucker. You need to keep up with the payroll. Uh, the guy that coached him ended up coaching the Pats later on. Mm. Um, but he told him when he left, he's like, you know, you got to pay these motherfuckers, right? Mm-hmm. That's, that's kind of happening now. With <laughs> and it was uh, Dallas Boosters mm. just kicking ass and like been like, man, your team sucks. My team's win. It's like, let's get the, this guy. Let's get this guy out of Odessa. Mm. Nah, he's going to Texas A and M. How the fuck is he going to Texas A and M? Well, they're paying him money. Let's pay him twice that. Fuck that. Yeah, that's still going on. And, and, uh, what's his name? For? Not until recently. I think they're they're implementing uh, new rules where uh, you know uh, players are going to get paid for like yeah. likenesses and things yeah. like yeah. that. Um, yeah. But like a great player that came out of there was Eric Dickerson mm-hmm. from the Rams, yep. mm-hmm. and he talks about it. He's like, yeah. "Fuck yeah, man! Yeah. Uh, my grandma bought me that fucking shirt." Sure. Uh, that fucking beautiful uh, Trans Am, yeah, right. <laughs> with the top, with the kind of sea tops and everything. Yeah, my grandma bought that. Yeah, and he still says it to this day. My grandma bought that. <laughs> Your grandma lived in a shack, yeah. motherfucker, before you went to the Rams. <laughs> oh yeah, like the ones that like you know are getting paid or whatever. You see, yeah. you see them flaunt it too because they're a bunch of you know nineteen to twenty one year old fucking boys and shit yeah. like that. But that would be a great movie. Well, like, the SMU yeah. story. Yeah. The, it'd be called Death Penalty because yeah. that's when the NCAA used the death penalty. Mm. The only team to ever receive it. Mm. I, I want to play Skip Bayless. <laughs> you got the title, just go ahead and write it, man. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> the death Penalty. Skip. <laughs> but yeah. Death uh, by Touchdown. <laughs> what about uh, Bad News Bears, another classic baseball. Oh, yeah. Fucking, yeah uh, what's totally. his name? Uh, Walter Matthau. Walter mm-hmm. Matthau. Yeah. He's like, just, just, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's, 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 let's go. Right did, you, did you see the remake with Billy Bob Thornton? I did. That was raunchy as shit. <laughs> of course, they were like, oh, let's uh, take... Uh, this, this was like right off the hills of fucking Bad Santa, too. Yeah. yeah. That one was raunchy because uh, they had that one dude, uh, Greg Kinnear was the other guy's team coach. Yeah. Greg and, Kinnear. Yeah, he's in, know, and he plays right? the, shit, the shitty coach on the other team. He's like, too good. Yeah. And they just fuck up these kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. That one little- Is that fucking bacon in your pocket? Yeah, it's fucking bacon in my pocket. I'm supposed to eat every day on the Atkins diet. <laughs> and this is like, Jesus Christ, you fat fuck. I just remember it's just the like movie. the kids of South Park playing baseball. <laughs> exactly. You ever see kicking and screaming with Will yes. Ferrell? Yes. <laughs> yes. That was freaking great, fucking, man. Uh, Mike Dick. Mike Dick. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to beat his dad. Yes. Was played by Robert Duvall, right? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What a weird fucking cast. <laughs> oh, God. And, and, yeah, and then Robert Duvall had, like, I guess, had another son with his, like, newer wife or whatever. And mm. so that was his brother that he was <laughs> yeah. going against Will Ferrell. Was like, yeah. <laughs> what a, uh, that's he, hilarious he, he, premise. He did, that, he did that right before he did Semi Pro. Okay. I was going to say, that's uh, what, yeah, I was going to bring think that about one that up. one. Yeah, yeah. Go Tropics. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> that, I just remember the that part. Tropics. I just remember that part where they're uh they're on like uh the the sleazy seventies party, whatever, Tim Meadows is uh, <laughs> in a cast or some shit like that. Yeah. And they're like, Did you uh did you call him a jive, jive turkey? turkey? No. <laughs> no, no, I called him a cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, I was like, No, I think I heard you, you call, call me a jive, jive turkey. turkey. And they're like guns are being shot <laughs> yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah, guns are yeah, guns are being put on the fucking table, they're all got the big collars and shit. <laughs> and then these D S But he was owner. Captain, yeah. coach, <laughs> yes. and best player. Well, except for Woody, when he came in. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. So, and then, yeah. uh, was it... Uh Andre 3000. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> he ends up going playing for the Nuggets. What was his name? Called? Black Coffee or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, Come on, uh, Coffee Black. <laughs> yeah, then, Coffee Black. That's right. And then after the uh, the escalation of like the Jive Turkey scene, you see uh, Tim Meadows with a gunshot wound. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes like, oh, yeah, I did get shot. <laughs> uh, it, it's, it, that's, a, that's one of my favorite basketball movies because it's really? so fucking stupid. Yes. I was just thinking of Woody Harrelson. Uh, speaking of basketball movies, White Man Can't Jump. Oh, yes. yes. That's, yeah, a that's a great a one. So and with, Wesley Snipes, we talked about major major league before. Oh, what's so, the what's the, what's the old girl's Mace Hayes? Yep. Yeah. Yep. What's the old girl's name that's in that movie? Rosie Perez. Rosie Perez. Yeah. <laughs> Goes on Jeopardy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Woody keeps just betting the money away. So. I haven't watched that in years. I like. I, I love Major League just because uh, old boy uh, the dude from the substitute is in it uh, platoon. Oh uh, fucking uh, Tom Berenger. Tom Berenger. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just like feeling rough as shit <laughs> and you like feel it watching it as you get older in life he's like damn that poor bastard yeah he played- his knees are just gone yeah, yeah. the catcher his yeah. uh fu- his uh bear bryant in that movie i brought up earlier huh really i want to i'd see a whole movie of like fucking tom Berenger playing bear <laughs> bryant <laughs> yeah. yeah having all the, uh, him uh playing uh just coaching and trying to go through the iron bowl against yeah. fucking auburn <laughs> right Playing like or like uh, that that whole like urban legend of him playing Tennessee with a broken leg or mm. whatever, having yeah. black act that out too. 
Then you got uh, and it's so weird watching the old college, like even like college sports, especially football, because all the coaches are wearing like three piece suits mm-hmm, and yeah. like just like classy. Everyone's wearing like classy clothes now. It's just like visors, visors, Polos. and like sweats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, what's his name from the past? Bill oh, Belichick. Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Yeah. Just, he his looks hoodies. so sad for a guy who has enough rings to cover all his fingers. He can't win enough, man. Yeah, never good enough. Him and uh, him and. Uh, Oh, Nick Saban. Mm, but yeah. the thing about it is, uh, I remember like reading uh, an interview with Nick Saban before where he says, uh, the thing about football coaching is that you know you're going to get fired eventually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Even it's true. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It's going to happen uh, soon, like, you know, 10 years down the line. If Alabama loses years. in the next every in the next two, three years, yeah, he's gone. Yeah. If it's like a successful. No matter how many championships you win, don't yeah. matter. No, they will turn on you in a heartbeat. That's what happened to Tennessee's coach. That's what happened to a lot of the great coaches. Doug what Peterson happened? recently, I mean, he wins the Super Bowl, and then two seasons later, he's he's gone. So That's like for the, uh, for the Eagles. Uh, so Mike Dicko, he was gone yeah. very quickly. So he went to win. Uh, great, one of the greatest football teams ever, the 1986 Bears. Yeah. Gone. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, your job is, uh, you know, based on W's. And that's win. probably why yeah. uh, fucking Belichick and Saban don't, are just like, they can't be satisfied. They're like, all right, time to keep my job next year. Yeah. <laughs> and it's actually kind of dangerous, too, because it creates like those curses I was talking about. Mm-hmm. You know, you get like, let's say, you know, you get a great coach who's really inept with the team, and they keep most of the team, but fire you, and you, and you just say you're in the same division. Mm hmm. You know, it's 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 bad. Yeah, that's why I feel bad for like, having Tom Brady on the Buccaneers because our division would never win again. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady's out there, you know, like living tax free, racking up rings. I felt bad for Saint when he got traded to the Buccaneers. I felt bad for Saints fans yeah. because the Saints fans had a shot. Yeah, now they don't. No, <laughs> that's why Brady's probably retired. Yeah, I never Brady's here though. So no, he got the one though. So good yeah. on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against Peyton Manning, but still, <laughs> Peyton Manning was still God when I was watching that game. <laughs> I, hate, I hate Peyton Manning so much. A lot of people hate Peyton Manning. <laughs> How I, many did he win in Indy? Just one. Uh, one. did he just one? one and then he won one in Denver, right? Yeah, one in Indy, one in Denver. Yeah. He barely threw a touch. I don't think he even threw a touchdown touch that game. Yeah, no, he threw like a fucking two point uh, conversion. Mm. I was watching the Bears play. Uh, it was fucking hilarious. I was in. Uh, I was at a hospital with my buddy of mine, and fucking opening kick. Bears receive. Who catches it? Devin Hester. Yeah. Gone. Gone. 14 yeah. seconds flat yeah. on the other side of that field. <laughs> Spiking that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, fuck y'all. Yeah. And like, I told my, I, t- I like called my dad. I'm like, Peyton Manning's crying. And he's like, no, that's just rain. That's just, just rain. Like, nah, he's crying like a bitch because the fucking undefeated Bears are coming. Yeah. And then they lose. Yeah. <laughs> that was Rex Grossman uh, at QB2, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. From Florida. Yeah. Yeah. I know this has just turned into like memories of like maybe when this happens. <laughs> I mean, this is what we like. You know, we're couch potatoes here. This is what we watch on our respective couches and yeah, all that yeah, shit yeah. too. What's, um, what's y'all's favorite old uh, baseball movie though, mm. or like any like you know from Bad News, or any like from the seventies, eighties, nineties? League of Their Own. The, the Natural is one of my favorites, but yeah, leave a, a League of Their Own. I will shout, shout yeah. out to the Natural. That is probably of close. And, close and a League second. of Their Own, a League of Their Own is awesome too. The so. I heard the remake of League of Their Own. That. Really? Uh, they're remaking it? I think so. Uh, I heard. I mean, it might be a different team. They might be doing it doing about a different team. Hey. Where they yeah. lose the peaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Field of Dreams is mine. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's a tough a one. That, yeah. Look at this cast of The Natural. It's uh, Robert Redford, Kim Bassinger, Basinger, Bassinger. Yep. Glenn Close, I think, is in there. Glenn Close, yep. Robert Duvall. Yep. Diabetes. I mean, Wolfram Brinley. Yeah, he's the manager. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, di- the Diabetes. <laughs> So yeah, the, it's a great flick. It's, it's it's got a weird little twist in it, um, yeah. but it's really good. The, the, the Simpsons parried it when um, when Homer there's yeah. a tree that was struck by lightning in, in the natural, and he he gets they make a bat out of it, and it's called Wonder Bat. I think Wonder. I can't remember which one's which now. And yeah. the Simpsons, I would get it mixed up. There was there was Wonder Bat, and there was like Wonder Boy or something like that. And I think yeah. it was Wonder Boy in the natural. I just yeah. pictured Tenacious um, D with yeah, Wonder called, Boy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, Simpsons he uh, wonder. The, the, the Simpsons do great jobs on parodies. Of, yeah. like really good stuff. Yeah, every that's every episode, every fucking episode, episode has of a, the Simpsons too. The baseball episode yeah. where the Zephyrs, <laughs> yeah, where Homer ends up riding the bench because Bird just keeps getting in all the yeah. major leaguers. Yeah. So it keeps telling Don Malley to shave his uh, his uh, sideburns. Yeah, hippie, <laughs> like, just, just, just shave your sideburns, hippie. <laughs> he literally puts like a shave like, line like for where his sideburns goes all the way around his hair. And he's still telling him to shave them. He's like, I don't know what he wants. So. See, Michael Madsen was in The Natural. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He says all the, the, the Zephyr, they all get like irradiated. <laughs> he gets like tumors and shit. Cause it's like, he's making a play on their field. Oh, man. 
have to check that one out. Yeah, too. it's a good one. That's yeah, one it's like my first favorites. few seasons. Is, yeah, but yeah, the natural was really cool. Yeah, uh, the League of Their Own. I just liked it because you know it's a stat cast. Yeah, and it, yeah. You know, Tom Hanks, you know, one of those guys who doesn't make a bad movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even if the movie's objectively kind of meh, he carries it. Yeah, or doesn't age well. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, even in that time. I'm trying to think of some of the movies that he was doing at that time. If he was... Because that was, that was before Gump. Yeah, yeah that was, and this was before Capital T, Tom Hanks. Probably like The Money yeah. Pit, Volunteers. I was, yeah, I was thinking about the... Well, um, yeah. Bachelor, yeah. One of my Long favorite movies is uh, Joe vs. the Volcano. That's hilarious. And he had that, and he had uh, Money Pit and, and The Burbs. <laughs> the yeah, Burbs yeah, is yeah, awesome. The Burbs is fantastic. So he had a just a run of... <laughs> is, it, yeah. was a, is it Bruce Dern? Oh, who was it? Who's his neighbor? Neighbor, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just yeah. walks up. What do you think's happening, man? <laughs> Goddamn, Tom Hanks just did all the movies with Meg Ryan in the early 90s, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, and Meg Ryan plays like three different characters in Joe vs. the Volcano. It's yeah. like... The fuck? Yeah, right. it's, it's it's a little weird that way, but... Um, I like him in Volunteers. Ah, yeah, Did you ever yeah. see Volunteers with John Candy? No. Oh, my God. They go to like a, a fucking... They end up joining the... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, the Peace Corps. Mm-hmm. And they go to this little village, and they're supposed to build this little bridge... And Tom Hanks owes, is a college student who owes all these guys a shit ton of money. And so he just hops on a plane to get away. Man, you pulled that one out. I have, Dude, I haven't thought about that movie. And God, <laughs> it's man. one of those movies you watch when you were a kid and you never forget it. Because yeah. I watched it. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. And I thought, and I recently watched it this year with wow. a buddy of mine. And I'm we're not like, thought holy about that movie in least, Holy shit, that movie does not age well. Because <laughs> yeah. John Candy is like, man, fuck the communists. We're going to kick these guys' asses. And then he's like, Oh, hell, communists! This is like halfway through the movie. He's like... This is definitely the 80s. And he, and he yeah. just keeps flip-flopping the whole time. They did Splash together, I do. Think. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Herman. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Daryl Hannah. I forgot about that one, too. Uh, big. Yeah, of course. Big. So many... Yeah, so many. That's the Tom Hanks where, podcast. Uh, he gets, he gets, uh, <laughs> where uh, technically he's raped by a woman. Yeah, kind of. Technically, yeah. she's like... Because at the end of the movie... Because he's 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In, in a man's body. Yeah. I just so recently that, watched that, that movie. That blurs the lines between, you know... Yeah. Do you fuck the mentally handicapped? <laughs> no, it's fine because, you know, presently he's 20-whatever. Well, she says this weird thing. Like, when he turns back into a kid, she's like, hey, come find me when you're eight years older. And yeah. it's just like, oh, oh yeah. that's weird. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> what about uh, Mighty Ducks? Hockey move. Speaking oh, of hockey They remade that, too, for a series. Yeah. Did they really? Yeah, on Disney+. Plus. They got, what's his name from Letter Kitty? One of the hockey players to play oh, the really? coach. He's hilarious because he's a real hockey player. Like, he yeah. plays hockey. But Emilio comes back. and yeah. I was about yeah. to ask who played his role for you uh, or if uh, is he just kind of sort of in it or is he kind of like a no player? he's one of the he's yeah he's the coach of the main team or whatever yeah but they made a but, show out of it like yeah. he kind of Emilio Estevez comes back for the movie is I, it a movie thought, or is it a series there's a, a series. series yeah because the series has the guy from Letterkenny oh uh, okay I thought Emilio was in it too let me see he might be I don't, he's I, not, I didn't really watch I it my, kids, my, my son's watched it he's a big sports guy so he watches all the sports stuff so yeah, it doesn't look like he's got Tom Billing but or okay. top Billing but Lauren Graham from Gilmore Girls is in it <laughs> all right yeah, and then looking at the rest of the cast, I, lo- I love the first one when it was when I was a kid, of course. But I haven't seen a really good feel good sports movie in a long time. No, that was the. Although my favorite uh, ending to a sports movie is probably Bad News Bears because they don't win the game, but they're uh-huh. still totally fine with everything and yeah. like how you know they, how happy they were about how how they wound up where they are and uh, are still you know super close as a result. Uh, I remember watching it and just think I had this like Bill Burr type style watch and I'm like shut the fuck up and play the game it's <laughs> <laughs> like that mentality watching it and like I've grown patience when watching sports because when I was a kid I fucking hated it like I'd watch baseball yeah because you know there's like 30 fucking commercials between bats it seems mm-hmm. like yeah and they got rid of that whole you know fucking with your gloves fucking with your helmet all that shit they got rid of that yeah you can't which speeds the-, the game up a little bit yeah uh, but like, I grew up watching NASCAR, too, which is the slowest fucking sport alive. <laughs> he, like, you know, it's 500 laps, Isn't that man. ironic? You know, this is the slowest sport to watch because it takes four hours to Days watch. Of Days, Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder. There you go. Robert Waller. To Talladega Nights. Yeah. yeah. Talladega Nights. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a sports movie. That's just <laughs> dumbasses and fast cars. <laughs> what was the Waterboy a sports movie? Yeah, or, sure. or, Happy Gil- or Happy Gilmore? Happy Gilmore, yeah. Caddyshack's definitely a sports movie. We haven't mentioned that. It's so. the greatest sports movie, I think. Rocky. We haven't even mentioned Rocky. I oh, think that's, oh, dude, boxing movies are fighting. Rocky yes. Four is the greatest boxing movie. <laughs> period. No, period. It beat communism. No, Rocky it won the Cold War. 
Damn it! No, it's Rocky Three. Because Rocky you, Three is great. It's, because it's, I was hoping they were going to do that with the Creed movies. Because he loses in Creed One. Yeah, I saw the first comes, one. I have not seen the second one. And he yet. comes back in Creed yeah. Two, and I'm like, okay, cool. It's kind of like Rocky Two. Yeah, yeah. And they, they can't really go further because he doesn't have a, like a real rivalry with the other guy. So I'm like, he could fight the bastard son of Cumber Lang. <laughs> and I'm like, that'd be the shit. But they brought in Ivan Drago's son, who is actually kind of an amateur boxer in real life, who huh. would fuck you up. Because right. <laughs> he like lifts concrete all day. Yeah. He's, it's that same, they do that same montage from 4 that yeah. they do in Creed 2. Oh, really? Where they go far away. Yeah. He's not in Philly trading. No, he's in like Mexico. Yeah, like somewhere. Siberia. Yeah. Yeah, they think of, I can't remember where he goes in Rocky well, like, 4. In, but... in Rocky 4, he goes to Siberia. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, but in yeah. Creed 2, he goes yeah. to like Mexico okay. or some shit. <laughs> fighting like Tito <laughs> and he's like showing him how to like just run like a motherfucker luchadors yeah just, just fighting fucking wrestlers I was just, like, just like doing street fight wrestling and shit like that <laughs> He, he's gonna fight like uh, some wrestler like Thunderlips. <laughs> so that's why Rocky Three is the best because he has a, a match with the Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan yep. and Mr. T. Yeah. <laughs> what's yeah. Your, yeah. Like, Mr. T? What's your uh, what's his uh, clever line? Clever yeah. line. Say clever line. What's your uh, prediction? <laughs> no, I like when he's just, uh, look, talking cash shit to Rocky's feeble wife. Yeah. Hey, bro, what you get with real man? Yeah. Uh, and I'm just like, that is Tier Shire. She will fucking stab you. <laughs> she was the daughter of the Godfather, motherfucker. Yeah. She will cut you. Yes. <laughs> but no, Rocky Four is the greatest movie. Yeah, it's a good one. If, I, if I'm like really down on America, <laughs> if I'm really cynical about America, I watch Rocky Four to get my patriotism levels back up. As it should. <laughs> Dude, he's like, even, even I. Ivan Drago smacks him in real life, like gives him a whole car, car right. And you know, Ivan Drago, first of all, in boxing terms, this is the most uneven match of all time because Ivan Drago has to weigh at least 280 pounds, yeah. and Rocky weighs 160 pounds. That's like Even at his foot. Rambo weight, yeah. his Rambo weight, he's still like five foot one. Yeah, exactly. And Ivan Drago is six foot four. He is rainy punches down from heaven. So like Hulk Hogan makes him look so fucking tiny. In yeah, because Hulk Hogan's like six foot six. Yeah, yeah. I heard he he actually lost uh, inches though from that move that. Um, that he would do all the time. The one, what was this signature move? I can't remember what it was the called. Elbow drop. The one that he would oh, the leg on his drop. ass. On yeah. his, yeah, the leg drop one. Uh, like apparently, like lost inches from yeah, from his all from the, his height. All those so. old timers just lose their height after a minute just yeah. from like moving back like that. Back to sad wrestling Indians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it all it all comes back to brain injury and like dead coaches. <laughs> it all just comes back around. Oh, that's why I hate. That's why I hate number three. Clever Lane killed. Kill this coach. Uh, That's true. Yeah, yeah. Gave yeah. a heart attack and died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Mickey. Oh, <laughs> uh, speaking of another great football movie, um, Longest Shard. Yeah, yeah. There was the old one with Burt Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. And then there was the other one with Never saw the Adam new Sandler. one with that. It's actually, There's another Sandler one. They do a really yeah. good job. Like they do take some serious points out Chris of it. Rock. And, yeah. yeah. So, all right, so you remember uh, and Burt Reynolds is in it too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Burt Reynolds is in it. Uh, so you remember the Burt Reynolds one where his buddy dies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right, they do the same thing in Longest Yard. Okay. Spoiler alert for a movie that's probably a decade old. But uh, they change it up in some. Shit, they change it up. Okay. Shit, remember, it was the radio. It was uh, the light bulb mm-hmm. that kills him. Remember? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's the same dude that kills him. The dude, uh, remember, uh, they bring the same actor back? Yeah, the same yeah. actor. Because he's the same guy from the Warriors. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, yeah. That fucking the, junkie the motherfucker. Bottles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, he always was a great villain. Yeah. Fucking Goldberg's in that yeah. uh, Longest Yard oh, really? It's fucking hilarious. St- Stone Cold Steve Austin plays a racist. <laughs> he plays a racist security uh, guard. So does uh, Nash. Oh, was it Kevin Nash? Just Kevin Nash. Because he ends up taking the estrogen. That's right. Was, that, it, that come out like the late nineties, early two yeah, thousands. It was definitely WCW. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. it was like Stone Cold. Anyway, it was definitely late nineties. Yeah, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Yeah. Let me that see. Late? Let me see. Long Shard, two thousand five. That's okay. what yeah. it was. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there was a. Uh, but yeah, it was yeah. every wrestler from like nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what's his name? Greg Khali was in it. Okay. Um, Chris Rock. Uh, what's his name from Dallas? Was in it. Um, Let's see, we've got Jim Cromwell from the fucking uh, Green Mile and Babe and all that. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what the guy that's in every fucking Michael Emmett Bay Smith movie is in it. Emmett Smith is in it. <laughs> yeah, because he's playing basketball. Gets into Terry Crews is like in it. Watch that. Fucking yeah, Terry Cruz. <laughs> oh, Terry Crews. Let's nice. see, fucking uh, there was was uh, no, this this guy that's in every fucking Michael Bay movie, and like uh, he's one of those uh, he's one uh, of those char- Fletcher, yeah, yeah, it's one of those like character actors that's in like a zillion movies. <laughs> yeah. that you, that you Tracy never Morgan know his name. was in it. Um, Tracy Morgan, yeah. Uh, 
the rapper, what's his name? Nelly. Nelly's in it. <laughs> With the <laughs> band-aid? Yeah. Joe Rock and the band-aid. Joey yep. Diaz is in it. <laughs> is Joey really? Diaz, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't call. I can't call. <laughs> Bill, Ro- Bill Romanowski is in this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, what's his name? The announcer. Oh. Whoop. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, um, Chris oh God. Berman. Chris yeah, Berman. Chris Berman. Yeah. He's like, what do you think is going to happen? And he's... The other announcer is another fucking prisoner. Yeah. And he's got he's a Native American dude with a big fucking gash in his face. Yeah. He's and he's prisoner. like, what do you think of it? Mm. <laughs> Thinking about all the bad movies that were made with like real uh, real athletes with um, Brian Bosworth. Um, yeah. yeah. Speaking of college football, one of the best out you there. But the story Stone, Stone happened, Cold. How... He made a movie yeah. called Stone Cold. Um, Let me see this. <laughs> Did you ever hear he's how Brian biker, Bosworth's dude? eye got fucked up? No. Nah, man. Uh, it was one of the 30 for 30s. The yeah. Brian Bosworth story was on there. And uh, it was right after they did the Bears one, I think. But anyway, when he was a kid, he had this little uh, toy gun. Uh-huh. And you know how like uh, the old toy guns used to have a little strap that was strapped to your leg and your belt? Okay. It's like a little string. Sure. Well, he was pulling his like little toy gun out or something, and he couldn't get it off. And so he took like a fork or something was trying to cut the rope, <laughs> and it fucking went into uh, his eye. That was his? Brian Bosworth, the quarterback for yeah. the Bears. Uh, that's what fucked up his eye. Yeah. It's so weird like hear stories how people get famous people get wasn't injuries. cocaine so no <laughs> was he a quarterback I thought he was no a, he was a linebacker that's what yeah, I thought yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah it's, it's fucking weird yeah yeah I've watched, yeah, I'm talking I, about uh, Jim McMahon yeah yeah gotcha now Brian Bosworth's story is pretty nuts too and he's like one of those guys that you know try to be famous yeah. outside of uh, football and all that too but yeah, I'm trying to think of uh, movies that had real athletes that were actually pretty good and we, as I said I mentioned Blue Chips there was um, one with Denzel. Came out in the ladies. I remember I actually went into the theater and saw this by myself with uh, Ray Allen. Yeah, uh, called He Got Game. Yep. Yeah, that I was, remember that. That was an interesting movie and, and good. But I remember like Denzel played a guy that like accidentally, who was the father of Ray Allen, who uh, accidentally killed his wife like in some domestic dispute and was in j- jail. And I guess while he was in prison, his uh, his son just you know became like a star in basketball over like the last I don't know how many years it um. was. They were trying to get him to convince his son. The warden was trying to get uh, Denzel's character to convince his son to go to the governor's al- alma mater, and then then he would shorten his sentence. And yeah. Um, yeah, there's some interesting scenes in that movie. And Ray Allen's actually really. I don't think he's ever done any other movies, but he's really good in that one. Me and he's he, too he's too old to be playing a guy going into college. But yeah, you might know but, this movie. I was telling him about it because we were talking about actors who don't make bad movies. Uh, mm-hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio came up. Okay. And remember a movie he made called Basketball Diaries? Yeah, of course. Yeah. The heroin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh my yeah. God. Damn it. <laughs> that movie's so uncomfortable. Because <laughs> yeah, so. it's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's based on a true story. That's right. Yeah. Did you, did you ever watch uh, the League TV series on yes, FX? Yes, dude. I love <laughs> that show. So. Rota Bay. <laughs> yeah. I loved all the uh, cameos from like present day, uh, still about the time, the, present day players. And yeah, all that. yeah, yeah. We were talking about it, but the uh, scene where the, their friend dies and all the NFL athletes show up to his funeral. It's like J.J. Watt. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then like J.J. Watt like stands up and looks down and like, you little bitches, man. He's bad. And he's like, you need to be, you need to respect your friend. And then he just picks up the casket by himself <laughs> and carries it like a suitcase and like walks away because it was him and two other guys from the NFL on one side carrying the casket. It's way the fuck yeah. up here. And the other guys are trying to like, what is going on? The Jay, the Jay Cutler episode made me fucking yes. die with the, with the Bubbles, the yes. bubbles in the stomach, and they, uh, he goes to the bathroom or whatever, and then he tries. I think he goes to spray air freshener, but it was spray paint for yeah. some reason. They had a can of spray paint in there because they were like renovating or something, and he ends up spraying. Yeah, yeah that was pretty funny. Let's see, Kevin so. and uh, Jenny want to be like uh, best friends with Jay Cutler and uh, his <laughs> wife at the time, and, yeah. like, and they go to like the uh, parenting classes and uh, yes, they, the they breast call, milk. <laughs> yes, and they keep uh, calling uh, uh, Jay Cutler's kids the little cutlets. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we did talk about it on the Jackass episode, but I was like, it was a Jackass 2, where Johnny Knoxville's, uh, is, uh, Sean William Scott shows up and they're doing like a scrimmage football game. Yeah. And like, they get Jared Allen from the Vikings and he just looks and, to t- uh, just tackle one of them. Yeah. And he pushes Johnny Knoxville down and then he gets up and Johnny Knoxville has the gall to say to Jared Allen, hey, next time try not to hit me with your purse. <laughs> <laughs> and like Jared Allen and Sean William Scott, I could tell was just like, Jesus Scott Christ. William Scott's a stiffler, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. But he's with them. He's yeah. just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. And like Jared Allen's like, 
coming for you. <laughs> it's just like he does the he does the fucking uh, Drago yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or the uh, the blood sport. Yes, the blood yes, sport. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good sports movie. Yeah, that's a, technically the consider, Kumite yeah. is a real thing. Yeah, you consider that a sports movie. <laughs> the the yeah. blood sport is a kum, the Kumite yeah. is real. Well, we were talking about, but this. he just the way he. He lets Johnny Knoxville just get the ball. <laughs> and, like, you could tell Johnny Knoxville was just like. And he's wearing a fucking, like, Tennessee jersey and everything. Yeah, too. Yeah. And, like, you feel for him because in the movie before this, he fought Butterbean. Yes. <laughs> in yeah. a department uh, store. And Johnny Knoxville's like, don't hit me with your purse oh next time. God. And he just mauls. Yeah. My dad, I showed my dad that. And he's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> that dumb motherfucker. <laughs> And Wee Man just tosses him the ball. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Whack. Because he goes full speed. Like, he ain't holding yeah. back. You'll say practice, motherfucker. No. <laughs> oh, how are we on time? Uh, we're good. We still got, like, we keep going. It's a little over an hour. Okay. Well, uh, well, we've, I've talked about this uh, before with friends of mine about, uh, like, guys like Jean-Claude Van Damme or, uh, you know, uh, athletic uh, actors that, you know, transcended in the movie roles. There hadn't been that many, uh, you know, actors that have done that in the last um, several Carl Weathers. years. Carl Weathers, was, Carl Weathers was an athlete. I'm talking oh, about within, like, te- past oh, 10, 10, 15 years. years. Mm, yeah. Hard to say. P- post fucking, uh, I'd say, who was the last, do you think? Maybe Jean-Claude Van Damme? Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke, yeah. Because he was a boxer in real life. Danny Trejo was a boxer in real life. Okay. They're more well known for their movie roles. They I think, are, but though. like Mickey Rourke became was a boxer first. Right. So it was Danny Trejo in prison. But <laughs> I was gonna say Danny Trejo's yeah. Even he probably would rather move past that too. He was Johnny Twenty Three. Got here. <laughs> <laughs> well, LeBron's trying, I guess, to become that guy eventually. Yeah. So at least with producing and stuff, I heard he was going to be trying to produce some movies, some more movies soon and stuff. And uh, there was even to talk about a Friday the Thirteenth remake that he was maybe going to be involved with. Is he going to live in it? So, <laughs> yeah. was, uh, they don't have a really good streak. Yeah. In that series, yeah, I know. no one really, not a lot of people live in those movies unless yeah. he's going to be fucking Jason. Well, I, think he was, I, think he's, I think he's talking about producing like oh, okay. some of these movies. So um, just a, we'll see. Just a big like I'm six a big Friday Thirteenth thing. <laughs> I mean, he's maybe he's, he's Jason. He's, maybe, <laughs> yeah. he's big and bulky enough, yeah. you know. Yeah, he can True. run. Yeah, Jason yeah. Don't run though. He's the most athletic Jason ever. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker does an electric slide from hell. This is a Doing like a fucking slam dunk with his fucking. Blade. I will say some of the moves Jason well, he does. He flops so much though. So so. Some, 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 <laughs> it's a swing at him. He don't fall over. So. Some, of, some of the moves he does are just ungodly athletic yeah. like the way he kicks that door open in like number three yeah. and that girl's like standing there what's the big fucking deal she opens the door and he's just standing there she closes it and he's like yeah boom and he smacks her in hell like he's boom knocks that pearl nickels right off her fucking I, don't know. I think I think Leatherface is probably more athletic Dude, than Jason so you know just, the tr- just I was telling them about it during the horror thing um uh, why the, uh, the girl the, the first movie yeah. the girl right the first the movie chainsaw. the girl the first movie uh-huh. She had such a terrible time filming the final scene uh-huh. where she's running down the driveway. Yeah, yeah. Because the dude that plays Leatherface was in football and could run a four forty, <laughs> yeah. and like he's he's dirt he's he's got full so, speed. So I'm not wrong. It's not just an illusion. No, no. It's the not reason a she's trick. like the reason yeah, why she's yeah. like crying and like sweating like a motherfucker is because she's in Texas. It's because she has to outrun. <laughs> Fucking NFL athlete, <laughs> but like, so, awesome. but he's carrying a you know a chainsaw that's running, you know, and so he's just booking it, yeah, because that's, that's all he knows, yeah. is booking it, and yeah. like terrifying. And right. this girl yeah. has oh, no so shoes terrifying. on, running down a dirt road. Yeah. <laughs> he's catching me, <laughs> yeah. like this movie's gonna suck because he keeps catching me, and like he would like reach out and like touch her hair, and think oh, he's gonna man. grab her by the hair, because like that was one of those movies where the director is like, oh yeah, I told him to do whatever the fuck yeah. he wants to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the, can you imagine like, like how like that's what that is in like the horror movie genre? Mm-hmm. These guys are perfect athletes. Yeah, Mike Myers is probably a weightlifter of some kind. Right. Like, yeah. If you run, he is going to catch up to you. That's yeah. what the scary uh, Jay- thing about Jason has is. to be a fucking NFL player. Yeah. <laughs> and fuck, so is so is uh, Leatherface had to be just a, a beast of a man. What would Freddie have been? I'm a trying coach. to think what sport. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a motivational coach who bets on his own team <laughs> or gets it. <laughs> He's just a Pete Rose. Just be that athletic with a fucking running chainsaw and all yeah. that too. But well, you were talking about movies I've seen actual athletes in. Kevin Garnett in the fucking. Uh, 
Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was supposed to be Joel Embiid. Um, and it was oh, supposed yeah? to be like more current. Um, and that would that would have been interesting with him. But, um, but Uncut yeah. Uncut Gems was good. Yeah, it was a great movie. Um, but, uh, I went to the theater. Long and Short would be one another one because they yeah. have actual athletes in it. Yeah. They yeah. may be retired, but they're actual athletes. Yeah, I didn't mean to cut you off there. I just no, made yeah. the thought, Kevin Garnett. <laughs> yeah. Um, we was, I had said it. Uh, Told you before, uh, we were talking about DC movies. Mm-hmm. Shaq has a DC movie play called Steel. Oh, Steel. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, yep. he's a, you know, it's, it's weird as fuck. Is, is he in the, the DC uh, extended universe? I fucking hope so. <laughs> Cinematic universe. Yeah. Because he plays real Steel. Uh, he needs the to. Superman's like man, like man of Steel. Yeah, he plays yeah. the Man of Steel. Yeah. steel. Yeah. I'm looking at the cast of Steel now. <laughs> fucking Ray J was in it. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Let me see if there's a. Uh, yeah, check out this uh, movie poster. Just Shaq is a fucking uh, superhero. Yes. Yeah, I remember it. Yep. <laughs> no, that he was probably like up there with Michael Jordan as far as like he was number two in popularity. I'd say in that time period under Michael Jordan as yeah, far no as doubt. basketball. No and doubt. then he became a lot bigger when the Lakers started winning all the time. Yeah, and after Jordan had left the NBA. Yeah, or I'd, at least gone to the Wizards. Probably more so, famous these days just from being in commercials and everything yeah. too. He, I mean, he endorses everything. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Barkley always fucking rags on him about like he's not using icy hot or whatever, whatever <laughs> or the general <laughs> or whatever else he's slinging. Type so. in uh, Charles Barkley versus Godzilla. Oh uh, yes, this is a real thing too. This is a real I thing. remember the Charles Barkley versus Barney. Did you guys ever see that thing on SNL? It was a skit on SNL when Nirvana was actually on. Yes. Um, yeah, versus him, him just beating the shit up out of Barney, playing this was, basketball. This was a comic book series, the Charles Barkley one, right? Good for him. Because <laughs> he never won a championship. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Poor bastard. Poor son. Tried to get tried to get over there with the Suns. Yeah. That's what I was kind of. I was this last series. I was kind of. Yeah, for the yeah, Suns a little yeah, bit because you know that. they had so many good players in yeah. and out like Steve Nash <laughs> yeah I was a rooting Rice. against anybody yeah. so yeah but it was you know they yeah. both deserved to get yeah, that exactly long time running there you go. Oh wow! Look at yeah. that! Just giant, just giant Charles Barkley trying to get a dunk over Godzilla with arms this time. What is happening here? I don't understand. He, Godzilla's trying to throw that fucking elbow that yeah. Lambert from, from the Pistons. He's trying to yeah, throw that exactly. fucking elbow. It's Bill Lambert is he in the right. suit? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is fucking Rodman. It's fucking Rodman. Yeah, full coverage, motherfucker. Yeah. Rodman will go to the you know go to a club in Vegas, dress like Godzilla one day, and then go to practice on time. <laughs> That's who I want to see in a movie. Dennis fucking Robin. Yeah. Because he's in the uh, Well, he, he's he been in, in the he, movies. Yeah, yeah he's did uh, that action movie Rush, with Jean Claude. Did he? Did he, did he, not, do, money, did he uh, do an action movie yeah. with Jean Claude? Double, double take or something? What? Or double, yeah. Double, yeah. yeah, he did an action movie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he Dennis definitely Robin, did. So. <laughs> Jean Claude. Or maybe it was a Jean Claude. I don't know. I can't remember. Well, uh, no, that's what it is. It's like double. Was it a double team? Double yeah, team. It's a double team. What an unfortunate title. Let me look at this poster. <laughs> I gotta mention two of the best sports movies um, that we haven't one, mentioned yet. Caddyshack two, because well, uh, <laughs> we did mention Woody Harrelson earlier. So we gotta go Kingpin, and if we're gonna mention Kingpin, <laughs> yeah. we gotta mention the Big Lebowski. I was gonna say. <laughs> so if you consider bowling, I and mean, if we're going that route, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, or is it the George Carlin, uh, uh, you know, take where it's like uh, bowling's not a sport; it's yeah. an activity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, his fucking take on sports is beautiful. The whole skit of him talking about baseball mm-hmm. is. Uh, uh, America's pastime. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone can play baseball. What's the goal of baseball? You run home. You have bases. You're safe. Yeah. You have stripes. You have outs. You, you have, have a manager. <laughs> yeah, you have a manager. You have a, a coach. You have an owner. Football, you play on a fucking gridiron in Soldier Field <laughs> in War Memorial Stadium. <laughs> You go by yeah. downs, motherfucker, yeah. and you both yeah. tactically make your way throwing lobs or bombs yeah. across the field, man on man coverage. Yes. That is a good bit. Oh yeah, god, that's hilarious. Yeah. That that's right up there with everyone has an Uncle David. <laughs> <laughs> and growing up yeah. with my dad, growing up with my dad being David, oh, it's fucking it? hilarious. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, Uncle David's gonna get that winning lottery ticket. <laughs> I'm still looking at Rodman's hair and fucking double team. <laughs> it's that peak, you know, late 90s. Green like, cheetah. Yeah, green cheetah look that he was rocking. <laughs> but uh, Caddyshack, I, I remember uh, watching that for the first time uh, with my dad. And, yeah. and I'm just like laughing my ass off. Yeah, there's so many funny scenes in that I just movie. Love, so. I just love fucking Bill Murray's bit where he's just standing there and he's like... <clears throat> Yeah, the, the, the golf announcer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the majors, I think. Or yeah, something. he's, he's like, like, it's a wonderful day at Augusta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's on... He's on the 18th hole. 
<laughs> he whacks that flower, just cuts that flower in half on the ground. <laughs> I love how that scene ends, though, because someone like calls him over, like hey, the caddy hey, or man, something. Yeah, he's yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, he's caddy in the guy's greatest game. This dude is hitting <laughs> that's like, right, two the, under the, par. The preacher, the father, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's like, I need you to caddy for me, son. And it starts raining. And it starts pouring yeah, down. Yeah. And this dude's having the best game of his fucking life. Uh, like eagle, double eagle, yeah. three hundred par. And he's like, goes to the last putt. He misses, and yeah. he fucking loses it. God <laughs> damn you! She made my life. <laughs> and Bo Murray just kind of like drops the yeah. clothes and runs, runs away. away. Oh yeah, he's like, it's a Cinderella story. Yeah. You're in Augusta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. Um, God, the judges. I can't remember the judge's name now. Um, oh yeah, that his an his asshole. character makes me Good, fucking um, laugh so much in that movie, and it's something, Robert Downey Jr. or not Robert Downey Jr. but um, uh, something Knight maybe. I don't want to say. Oh uh, fucking Ronnie Dangerfield. No, yeah. Ronnie um, Dangerfield is the guy who's. Who's, Ted, who's, Ted, Ted, off. Yes, Ted Knight. Yeah, Ted, Ted Knight. Yes, so thank you. What's his character's yes, name? Uh, and, uh, judge something. Uh, ju- yeah, uh, Judge. Oh, God. <laughs> the fucking Wikipedia page is hiding the shit. Uh, the, 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 the Judge <laughs> Danger, Elihu? Dangerfield and, uh, and, and him have that uh, altercation in the pro shop. Yeah. Where, with the hat. He's like... <laughs> You get a free bowl of soup when you buy this. <laughs> it looks good on you, though. <laughs> He's got a fucking radio built into the fucking yeah. rock clubs. <laughs> yeah, that's what definitely one of the best. So. Mm, bit, bit of a uh, golf movie trivia: the guy that plays uh, Shooter McGavin in uh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah. yeah, apparently gets what eighteen holes like for free, for free and, everywhere uh, he goes. Augusta Does National. he really? Once a year, he gets a uh, free game of uh, free game at Augusta National. Good for him, man. That's I, love, awesome. I love I love Happy Gilmore because Jim Nance is in it. Yeah. Yes, and he's just like, and Jim Nance has a very calm voice. Yeah, he's it's made for golf. Sure, but he's just talking shit, like he like subtly talking shit. Yeah. And then he kind of looks over. He's like, "Look at all these fucking rednecks." <laughs> <laughs> well, the commentator did that movie, and then uh, are we gonna are, dodgeball? Uh, yeah, the commentator dodgeball, on, yeah. on the Ocho. Oh, Cotton, Cotton, old Jason, Cotton, Jason, Cotton. Jason yeah. Bateman, dude. Uh, he may not be able to see yeah. well, Cotton. <laughs> No, oh, my, man. my favorite is uh, basketball with uh, Bob Costas. <laughs> oh yes, that's right, Costas is and the... uh, what's the other fucking guy's name from NBC that still does football? It's not Dan Patrick. No, um, uh, it's the other. It's the other guy that does uh, Sunday nights on NBC. Collinsworth? I no, think it's, no, it's not Collinsworth. No. It's uh, hang on a second. Al Michaels. No. Al Michaels. That's okay, what it sorry. is. Thank you. It's Al Michaels Just running and Bob, through a ball. Bob, yeah, <laughs> Al Michaels and Bob Costas are like the actual yeah. commentators for like the basketball games, and yeah. the, they win at the end. And Bob Costas is like, "You're excited? <laughs> Feel these nipples." <laughs> I love that they could do that. Like, and they like, totally sell it too, yeah, and not be like, it. and not be like, you know, shy about it. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember Costas? Uh, not this last Summer Olympics, but the one before we got red, uh, pink eye. And no, I didn't know that. <laughs> he was hosting the Olympics, but I mean, he was still doing the broadcast, but he had pink eye. Oh, and, shit. Yeah. So his eyes were just all fucked up. <laughs> yeah. and of course, he had to address it. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, poor dude. Not this, oh, not this uh, past Olympics, but the last two Olympics is, Olymp- Olympics that we participated in. Olympics is. Olympi- Olympics is. <laughs> uh, the, the 2020 and the, uh, the, the 2018 Olympics. Would that be it? Yeah. Yeah. The 2018 uh no. Well, they stagger them with the winter yeah. and the summer. So. Yeah, so it's every two years. Um, yeah. So this is 2021, 2020, 2018, 2016. Beijing. Oh, yeah. In the Beijing Olympics, uh, I would love to make a movie about Michael Phelps just because of what happened during the Olympics. Mm. So he's not like – he is technically the undercard because he's won so much prior to yeah. the four Olympics before that. And, like, there's this dude who was just, like – excited as fuck he won because he broke one of Phelps' records that he yeah. said a long time ago. And Michael Phelps is just sitting there like this and he's got his arms crossed. And oh, yeah, like, when he's just like fucking in like... Get, I think I saw this when he's getting yeah, in game face mode. Yeah. He's got his headphones on and his hood is kind of all the way up. Yeah, yeah I remember this. And then he breaks his own fucking record yeah. and like he's like splashing around yeah. and then they made a meme of him continuing to splash. <laughs> fuck you! Yeah. Fuck you! Fuck your ass! <laughs> and like, oh my God, that's so hilar- hilarious because I was like... That's the pinnacle of American sports, mm. winning all the fucking medals you can, yeah. and then dipping. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And then, not only that, two years later, in the fucking Winter Olympics, we had a uh, snowboarder sh- get fucking shit-faced mm. 
forget forget where his place was in line, show up late, and then win the gold. Oh, that's right. Didn't he test positive for weed, though? Like, yeah, but like, it's like, is that the fucking performance yeah. enhancer? Yeah. Yeah. Was, that, was, that, was that the redhead? Was that the redhead yeah. snowboarder? Yeah. What the fuck? No, that's Sean, not, not, it wasn't no, Sean No, it wasn't Sean yeah. It was another. Okay. But, yeah, but yeah. he's like, hey, man, you just won the gold. He's like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's like, this is live, God damn it. <laughs> we had mentioned Miracle, which is obviously a, an Olympic movie. Um, uh-huh. And I was just thinking of... Uh, I, Tanya, have you seen? Have you oh seen God. God, that is I so was, good. That was a really well done movie. It really was. Yeah. Her mom stabs her with a fucking steak knife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, poor Tanya. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, poor Tanya. Yeah, she spoke, she took a beating. Her Ugh. dad made her a rabbit jacket. Yeah, and I'm just like, oh my God, <laughs> Arkansas, come out. Seriously, it's like um, watching the Eileen Warno story or oh some God. shit. Mm. But they never. Uh, I love how uh, you don't see it, but you hear it. The tink, wow, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah. You know, and like, and, uh, because uh, they did the thirty for thirty, uh, but Nancy and she didn't appear. Mm. She didn't show up for it. Uh, Nancy Kerrigan. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure Tanya was there. She's got to collect the check anyway. She can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nancy just wants to put all of this behind her, but she put it behind that knee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, like, yeah. I love the guy. I love the guy that plays him. Uh, was it? It's not Jeff Galuli. It's his buddy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's like, I'm in the FBI. I'm a cop. And it's like, no, the fuck, you're not. I, I love. I was just nothing but a bunch of like, uh, you know, just like just hicks. Yeah, yeah. And this so old Beverly fucking Hillbilly is a yeah. fucking crime, basically. <laughs> Hanging out at the bar, drinking Budweisers, and thinking of a great plan. So, yeah. yeah, we got this. We got. And I love Tanya Harding. Is just. I love that Margot Roby played her. Yeah. Because she's like, this is how I remember it. And it's just her getting punched in the fucking face. <laughs> and then her beating the shit out of Jeff Kulili. Cool she was so good mm-hmm. in that movie, too. Yeah. So. That's a, that's one of those ones that you watch like, God damn. Yeah. Margot, Margot Robbie's got their streak of playing just crazy in between Harley Quinn and mm. Tanya Harding. There was yeah, another right. one. There was another movie called The Medalist. Mm. Did you ever see that? Mm-mm. It had that uh, girl from uh, Big Bang Theory. The one with the fucked up voice. Oh, the, the blonde girl. Yeah. The, the played, uh, not uh, Kay- Kaylee Cuoco, but the other one. Yeah. But she's in it, and a uh, dude from Winter Soldier's in it. And she used to, she won a gold medal when she was younger, and she's been living off the fame from okay. that. And uh, it's so fucking raunchy. Because was the dude from Winter Soldier, was he in I, Tanya too? Was, yeah, he was yeah, Jeff Lulee. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. yeah. He sauced yeah. her in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, God, oh, dude. Geez. And then she takes a fucking brick and like, throws it <laughs> God. Who plays, uh, let's round it off, who plays uh, Michael Phelps in the movie when that comes out? Oh, that's hard to say. Uh, it'd have to be someone from the Marvel Universe because they're already jacked. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I'm, just picturing, uh, I'm picturing Chris Evans right now. Yeah. Or uh, the guy that played Superman. Not uh, not the newest guy that played Superman. Not the Henry guy Cavill. that played in Superman Returns. Oh, fucking, oh, Brandon Ralph. Ralph. He looks. He's got that goofy fucking look. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's got to be like little goofy and not like super jacked. You have to have all the trailer is is just you zoom in on some dude eating Wheaties and he's <laughs> on the cover and he's just got a bong beside him <laughs> and it's just like uh, maybe, maybe uh, Chris uh, Pratt over Chris Evans maybe I don't smoke, know. It's called Chris sm- Evans maybe too too, too smoke, handsome. Yeah, so. they call it smoke on the water. The story. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I heard there was a story about Oscar Pistorius. Yeah. Tink, tink. Yeah, my God. <laughs> oh, the, the guy with the uh, no metal legs. legs? Yeah. Tink, tink. Tink, oh. tink. Oh. Shot his girlfriend. I always think, I always think of uh, Cat Williams. Poor little Tink, Tink. 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 <laughs> Poor little Tink, Tink. I love, I love one of the greatest fucking like, responses I ever heard was, uh, it was a guy with like one leg or no, like, trans radio APT mm-hmm. climbing Everest he's like I climb Mount Everest what is your excuse in the first fucking line my legs hurt motherfucker <laughs> and I'm just like god <laughs> damn <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking brutal because right? yeah uh, and you know, going on a lighter boat of that there's a guy who's a trans radio APT who's running the, Olymp- the Paralympics now mm-hmm. and his wife is a uh, this black girl, she ran for the United States, and she had just set a record. And like the comment section is lit up. It's like, holy shit, this is a fucking power couple. All this, uh-huh. and the comments like, lock the bathroom door, bitch. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, God wow. damn, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, uh, that was a great episode today, guys. Thanks again for coming by, Paul. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, and uh, from all of us here, watch, at, uh, uh, watch some fucking Kaiju movies and join us for the next. Uh, yeah, I'll get on it. I'll get on it. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna do like a whole series out of that. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Looking forward to it. Yeah, because yeah. it's probably like four, probably four episodes worth. Yeah, at least. 
Come with us when we do the uh, 1998 Godzilla at least. That right. movie's terrible. <laughs> I want to see the... Uh, Matthew Broderick? Yeah. yeah. I want to see this SMU fucking like uh, biopic now. Yeah, <laughs> totally. We should, we should probably put that on if you haven't yeah. seen it. <laughs> All right. Well, well, success. No, that'll do it us uh, from here at the Couch Potatoes. On behalf of uh, Paul and uh, Chris, this has been Cap. And uh, Chris, do you have any final thoughts for us? Quote the great Al Davis, win, baby, win. Right on, right oh, on. Yeah. <laughs>